Let's now talk, Jared and Bumble, about Kigisa Rabada. I want to ask you, where would Rabada stand in the list of the very great bowlers if he played for one of the, the top three test play nations? Um, where does Rabada, for you, Bumble, stand right now among the best test match bowlers in the world? Where does Dale Stane stand? I think he's retired. I mean, yeah, but he, <laughs> everybody, everybody would say he's right up there yeah. and he played for South Africa. That's the point that I'm making. Mm. So I, I, I saw Rabada's first match and he, he had massive potential and you knew that he was going to get better and better, but he's had longevity as well. He stayed relatively fit and he looks naturally fit. Would you class him or are we going to class him as an out-and-out out fast bowler? He's probably just underneath that. Um, but he's, he's fit and he's strong enough. And in modern-day quicks, he's as good as it gets, isn't he? I mean, 64 tests, 299 wickets, an average gets, of 22. I mean, that is, yeah. that's, these are special numbers, Jared, right? Yeah, I think the issue is, when Dale Stane was bowling, his numbers were so much better. than he was like, His average was like seven better than anyone else in the world yeah. when he was playing, right? And um, when Rabada's been bowling, he's got Pat Cummins in one market. He's still got Jimmy Anderson that wouldn't disappear in another one. And then Jasper Bumrah comes up, right? And, I, and, and so it means that I think Stain got all the attention because he was just pace. dominating. Pace. 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 Hitting pace. people in the head a pace. lot, right? Pace. Pace. Remember, every time he played New Zealand, Dale Stain, he'd like knock out about three of their players. So, mm. you know, it wasn't just the wickets and everything. It, it was the whole package. Whereas with Rabada, I think his best ball is fantastic. But it's maybe not as sexy as Staines as was. And then you've got Boomer doing absolutely incredible things anytime he picks up a red ball. Pat Cummins has been fantastic. And Jimmy Anderson bowled until he was 83, right? So you've got all these different things happening at the same time. When it, when it comes down to it, it, I think it's just a comparison thing that is the issue with Rabada. Because if he was in an era where no one else was doing anything like this, he'd be treated as one of the greatest of all. How old is he now? Is he 29 or 30? So, I mean, he's got another Late 20s, what, four yeah. years, you would say. Yeah. At, at top class. How many test matches is he going to play? That's debatable. Well, he loves test cricket. I don't know if you know about this. But yeah. You know when they, they sent the B team to New Zealand? Yeah. He came out publicly and said, I want to play test cricket. I yeah. don't agree with this. This was a mistake by Cricket South Africa. Yeah. And politically, you know, that's, a, that's quite a ballsy thing to say against your board. Like, it wasn't like, it wasn't vague. He was really clear. We, he's, he's had a, I mean, in the past, he's had a nasty streak as well. He's um, been suspended he's awful, isn't he? Yeah. 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 He, I, think, I think we were in South Africa, weren't we, yeah. in 20, before COVID. Did he get, wasn't he banned for the last match? Because he, I think he'd be bold, Joe Root. And I mean, he got close to Root. I mean, kind of, yeah. I think, to be fair, it was more on the floor than Root's yeah. face. But fairly certain he missed one of the test matches in South Africa he's, against England. He's had some issues with that. He gets fired up. I, I like that, though, about him. I like that he's got that little bit of edge about him. Which is funny, though, because he does kind of look like a choir boy. He doesn't look like... And, and, like, and, Dale Stane looks like a prison I, guard, right? I, I remember actually seeing him. <laughs> he did, did. Yeah, he did. I remember seeing him. The match he didn't play in South Africa, the, the, literally just before COVID happened, I remember seeing him, and he was in a suit and everything. And he go over and talk to him. You can barely hear what he's saying. He's so shy and so quiet. Did you dap him up? No, definitely not. He dapped me up. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think the most interesting thing about him is, like, so with, with Cummins, you've got incredible accuracy um, and then now the wobble ball, but originally the outswing, right? And with Boomer, you have all the tricks. He's basically a spinner at 90 miles an hour, Boomer, when he wants to bowl. <laughs> Rabada has this incredible energy off the pitch. It's not as it's not like a it's not like a skill in the way that the other. I'm sure it is a skill, but what, it's not a noticeable skill like Pat Cummins' accuracy is, right? So you watch Rabada in the World Cup when he needed to change his length, he couldn't do it in some of those pitches because he's like, no, this is what I do. I bowl this ball slightly back in length at this pace, and it zips off the pitch, and no one's ever going to be able to play it. It's a completely different kind of skill than those other two have, but. Because of that, it maybe doesn't look as good on TV or as sexy, but I would imagine playing him at, what, 89, 91 miles an hour as every ball seems to be coming up at you with energy. He doesn't seem to lose any pace off the pitch, unlike most bowlers. They say he's got a heavy ball, a, yeah. a, a many ballers. So how many test matches has he played? 70? 64 test matches. 64, 299 wickets. Yeah. I reckon that Fred Truman took his 300th wicket in his 67th test. And, you know, there's a real similarity there because you can get a bit nasty on the pitch, which Fred could. Get, got suspended, Fred did. And, you know, they, they, those... Did you, are, do you those, face 
Fred. I did. So is it the same sort of thing? Because it looks like to me, batters kind of want to play Rabada off the front foot, and then the ball just sort of always seems to come up with this... It's a bit of extra pace off the surface. It's like it doesn't slow down, is the best way of putting it, which is even slightly different than a heavy ball. But, but Fred also wasn't deadly accurate. Yeah. He, he wasn't deadly accurate, Fred Truman. And I got him, obviously, at the back end of his career. And again, ju- just to, we played him on uncovered pitch at, it, it was either Sheffield or Bramall Lane, Bramall, Bramall Lane, Sheffield, or Bradford Park Avenue. It's one of the football grounds. And he, he was at uncovered pitch. And I'd been told as this number seven kid, when you put, no matter what Fred says, don't worry about it, just get forward, 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 swing, negate the swing, get right forward. And so I just kept going forward and he's going this way and it's going this way. <laughs> Ryan Close is here at short leg and I just keep going. And he's going that way and that way like that, keep going forward. Brian <laughs> Close says to Fred, uh, Fred, will you bowl straight? <laughs> to which Fred, as they always used to do, hitched his pants up like that and said, how can I bowl straight when I'm swinging it this road and that? <laughs> <laughs> and just walk back to his mark. <laughs> and I'm still going, boom, boom. Did you, did you get your off? Um, I got, I, I got, I think, I might have got a very scratchy 30. Okay, of how many balls? Um, oh, about 4,000. Not very bad, <laughs> right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, that, so Truman is the one that you compared to Rabada? Yeah, those, those stats that, but that what about, we got. As a bowler, do you think? Because if you're trying to get forward, that's what it always feels he, like he, to me. People are going, that length, I should be here, and yeah. it comes up through here. Rabada reminds me, of, I mean, Rabada's probably never heard of Fred Truman. <laughs> um, but he reminds me, and his stats just stack up. Not yeah. deadly accurate. Um, I'm reliably informed, by the way, that he used to Rabada has Fred Truman posters on his bedroom. Yeah, he grew, <laughs> he grew up. That was his hero. Of the Id- kid. Idolizing, <laughs> idolizing Mr. Truman. Who knows? Um, so, uh, Kikisa Rabada, the Test match bowler, is really, really good. What about Kikisa Rabada, the white ball bowler? Mm. I don't think he's as good. In white ball cricket. Can I tell you my analysis of Kiki Because I'm, I'm not the expert here. I'm the guy that reads questions off a piece of paper that have really been sent to me. But I've watched Kiki Saravada. What does John Norman think of it? Yeah. <laughs> this is this is all script, by the way. Um, when I'm watching Kiki Saravada bowl in the IPL, I always think you should be so much better. It feels like he doesn't take anywhere near as many wickets as what he should do. He goes around the park, and I watch him in test cricket be this beast who destroys teams. And in the IPL... It's almost like team just playing like he's some kid. He's on debut. He, he, he said it. He, he just that's what I do. Yeah, that's it. Has he got enough skill and variety to be a really good, successful T Twenty bowler, or not successful, but one of the best? So he can take a lot of wickets in T Twenty cricket, but he generally takes them at the end, right? When they don't matter as much. And I actually think probably what he what needs to do in T Twenty cricket is maybe bowl a slightly different length. And and as as Bumble just said, it's about the variety. There's this thing with bowlers that, you know, we just seen Mornay Morkel be named um, Indian bowling coach, right? If you're Mornay Morkel or Kagisa Rabada and Harmi was a bit like this, did, did you coach Harmi? No. No, but Harmi was a bit like this. When you're like a machine like those guys are, right, and your best ball is basically unplayable, you don't develop in the same way that Vernon Philander has to develop. You don't develop in the same way that other bowlers do because the other bowlers are like, I'm going to have to try this and I'm going to have to learn this but, skill. But when you're a T20 bowler, though, and you get picked up in the OPL for big money... Surely, I know he's got that one ball that's great, but surely he needs but more still, than just that one ball, right? But he's T20 still taking cricket. a lot of wickets, isn't he? Like, if I think for him, if he stopped taking wickets, he would probably look right. Pat Cummins, he played for your Kolkata Knight Riders. KKR and, all the way. And how frustrated were you at him? He was a bit of a batsman than bowler. And then, but look at what he's done over the last couple of years. He's he's had to develop that. I think Rabada is better than Cummins as a white ball bowler, and he hasn't had to develop that because. He still takes a lot of wickets. I just don't think he has the impact. In Test cricket, Rabada has such a big impact, right? Giving the ball at any stage, you're like, good luck. In T20 cricket, I kind of feel that he takes a lot of wickets at the end when he doesn't really have as much of an impact on the game. And I think that's the problem. But yeah, look, he, he's just, I don't think he's as versatile as some of those other players. He might be better at what he does than some of the other players. You've got to sure. be adaptable. You, you know who England's one-day international all-time uh, wicket-taker is? I know, it's incredible, isn't it? Who is it? The GOAT, Jimmy. Jimmy Anderson. It's Jimmy Anderson. I don't he's think got... I've ever seen Jimmy Anderson play a white ball game. What was he doing back then? <laughs> yeah, two, 269, I think, yeah. Yeah. Um, I know going a bit of a piece here, Bumble. What, what do you make of Jimmy Anderson, who's 
has been speaking in interviews and talking about the possibility of playing white ball cricket, and even he has mentioned franchise cricket. Yeah. I would should, you? Would you as a, a data no, man? Number one, he, he, he likes cricket. He, he loves playing it. cricket, he lo- and he, I think he also likes getting out the house. I was say, he likes I don't getting think out he likes the his house. His family as much as many. Does not getting out the house. <laughs> I'm, I'm he, joking, Anderson. And, and he, he, we can. Have you dabbed him up? No, no, you can't dab Jimmy. I'm, you can't dab him up. But it, I mean, the, it's a business opportunity. Yeah, and he's as fit enough and strong he's enough. Fit enough. And we want yeah. it. I mean, to pick him up. One of these franchises to pick him up. Look at the interest. You got a bowling coach as well, don't you? When you pick him up, you so get could, two for one. Could you, you get two for one? The IPL? So here's the thing. It's like being at Lidl. You get two for one. <laughs> when, it's be, Jimmy Anderson. I don't Jimmy want, Anderson's just been compared to going into Lidl and getting a two. <laughs> but, <laughs> is he, that might be one of your best football commentary lines of all time. Is he the middle row in, in, in Lidl? He's in between the toilet roll and the kitchen roll. That's, That's it. Yeah. So I think with Jimmy Anderson. They got rid of him because he couldn't bat. Who? England, right? They what? were looking for really? people to bat. As, have a look at their batting order, and they wanted Plunkett, and they wanted Wokes, and they were like... I would want Book Cricket. Yeah, yeah. I them in Test Cricket. In like, Test Cricket. I was like, in Test Cricket. That's how they got rid of him now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, conventionally, they, they were like, we can, we can bat down to number 11 here, yeah. and we can also protect Jimmy so he can play more Test Cricket. And I think it was a win-win situation. When he was young, Jimmy was a better white ball bowler than a red ball bowler for about, what, three or four years? Mm-hmm. And then suddenly he jumped and, and he switched. He was a really good white ball bowler, right? And there's nothing that, nothing that suggests to me he can't do it. It's whether he wants to keep doing the work, which apparently he does at the moment, and whether he wants to get, you know, more, um, more content for his podcast. T- talk, about, about talk about red ball. <laughs> talk about red ball, red ball, white ball. And I had a, a drink with, I'm not going to tell you it, but it's somebody very influential. Oh, come can't on, tell you, ball. can't tell you, can't tell you. But with it no. Uh, Mother Teresa. No, no, it won't, won't Mother, Mother Teresa. Teresa. White ball, red ball. This guy is a white ball cricketer, says the other guy. I says he's a red ball cricketer. He's white ball, I see he's red ball. He's white ball, red ball. Who's round is it? You get him in. White ball, red ball. <laughs> Gus Atkinson. Red ball here. Yeah. Oh. Red ball, red ball, red ball. Can he be both? I'm sure he can, but yeah. he, 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 you know, they... This person thought he was a white ball predominantly. You're talking about Jimmy? No. You're talking about Gus Atkinson? I've yeah. said all along, red ball. I think he's a more of a red, red ball. ball yeah. You mean more red ball yeah. than white but, ball? But, yeah. but quite early on, like you, I think in Jimmy's case, the white balls when he was playing, swinging sideways when he was young, and there's no way you could hit him. And in red ball cricket, people would just wait for the bad ball. Right, whereas white ball cricket, you have to go after them. Mm. As he got older, he changed the way he played. But look, I... I I know he's the leading wicket taker, and you know we, that is funny. Um, yeah. Why is it funny? It shouldn't be funny, should it? it? But it be, is funny. But it is. Well, but but nobody can remember him playing. That's, that's the Mom, thing. I've never seen him take a wicket before in white ball cricket. How old are you? Like eight? <laughs> yeah, I was, I, was, I was a late blossomer into cricket. You know, <laughs> you're a late blossomer in many. Yeah, things, all right. right. More on that later. <laughs> Um, so, potentially, <laughs> to, to, to link it back to the beginning of this debate, Ramada. can you answer Ramada? Well, what does we, that tell you about Ramada? We, we started we, talking about it. We talked about Truman, <laughs> Gus Atkinson, Jimmy Anderson and Little. And Mother Teresa. Oh. So, we, we could potentially, though, in some universe in 2025, we could see a white ball team where Kagisa Ramada and Jimmy Anderson are opening the bowling together. Yes. Yeah. There you yes. go. There we go. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.